when the Hosman Foundation uh, gave us the, the award, it, it was like a, a great encouragement to keep trying to, to fight the battles, to keep trying to, to find the solutions in this strange encounter between engineering and architecture, urbanism, environmental design, and social infrastructure. And an award like that can be used to shine the light on practitioners that are trying to maybe expand the, the scale and scope of the, of the practice, ask questions, not just uh, ticking the boxes, but maybe adding to the, to the agenda and, and, and expanding the understanding of what architecture is and, and what it can actually do in imagining our cities of the future. Sustainability, of course, in, in broad terms, is to provide for current and future residents of a, of a building or a city the highest possible quality of life as long as you can do so without diminishing future generations opportunity to to have the same or better quality of life so for the for the dry line for the for the big u so we needed to somehow reimagine the waterfront to withstand incoming storm surges of, of, of more and more severe quantities and since we needed to move some dirt to keep the water out we thought like, why don't we do it in such a way that we can also make the waterfront more accessible and more enjoyable to the people living there. So we tried to engage people from the community uh, by asking uh, as tangible and, and actionable requests as possible. Like, what are the things you would like to do that you can't do right now? What are the things you can do right now that you would like to do more of? From the city side, what, what you will really see is uh, is a green park with uh, trees and, and rolling hills. In, in the northern part, where the, the park really sort of boils down to a, a sliver, the, the hills actually lead up against a kind of flood wall that, that we've designed uh, almost like a, a measuring stick for, for elevation. Each time a street comes from the city towards the waterfront, we kept it open. So you have these massive uh, rolling doors that sort of uh, nest inside the hills during, let's say, 99.9% of the, of the time. And, and in the moment uh, a storm surge is coming, uh, they will slide in place and sort of complete the dry line or the, the flood protection. And then as, as you move further down, we conceived of the entire park as an archipelago of green islands uh, surrounded by a, a sea of circulation, if you like. So each island has its own Little, uh, little program, so it's, it's almost like a community uh, of parks that, that constitutes the entire waterfront.